We're trying to not just build better basketball players, we're trying to build leaders who are equipped to be successful in life um, and good people. I'm not asking everyone to be an all-star. I want them to be an all-star in their role, whatever that role might be. Meet Sue Phillips, head coach of the Archbishop Mini women's basketball team and one of the most highly decorated high school coaches in the country. While many may cite Phillips' accolades as signals of greatness and prestige, they are far from her focus as a coach. Society, in general, believes success is about wins and losses and trophies, right? And um, if I were to sacrifice my integrity for that end, towards that end, then in my mind, I'm not successful. And so what I want to do to be successful is to be able to provide a program a platform for these kids to be a part of a sisterhood and potentially be a dream chaser, that they can pursue their goals to play at the next level, whether that's, you know, we have Danielle Robinson at the WNBA. We had Kelly Hayes who played for the Philippine national team and now she owns her own company. I feel like we are doing our job and doing it well when we see these young women later in life flourishing in all aspects of their life and that they too feel the need to pay it forward. So their set of experiences, Archbishop Medi, whether that's in the classroom or community service, you see them continuing to um, spread that love, that joy of sport, compassion they have for each other. It's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Coach Phillips developed her self-acknowledged love of sport and basketball as a young girl driven by a family whose inspiration and guidance never faltered. John and Vicki Phillips are uh, immigrants from Poland. They came over from 1948 and 1948. Um, and so uh, being brought up as the youngest of four in a uh, devout Catholic household, um, I went to middle school at St. Lawrence and my parents put a premium on hard work and education. And so school always came first, but I think I, um, I think I was annoying because my mother put me in every sport possible. So she put me on a swim team, a bowling team, a soccer team, a softball team, a basketball team. I mean, you name it. I pretty much uh, played it and had so much fun. And um, that's what kind of sparked my joy of sport, my love of sport. Um, at a very young age, I was always running around with my older brother or um, with the kids on the block. And uh, my folks were a, good, a huge influence from that perspective in that they believed in um, active lifestyles and, and healthy um, eating. And so I'm really, really grateful that my folks um, had the wherewithal to send me to Archbishop Mitty, and I'm a proud alum. Coming out of Mitty as an 18 year old, Phillips had an important decision to make. One she admits she still can't wrap her head around to this day. I often wonder why I did the things I did when I was 18, but the point is, um, out of MIDI, I, I came down to two choices, a basketball scholarship at Cal compared to a softball scholarship at Northwestern. I picked Northwestern um, because I decided I wanted to play softball. Um, being five foot nothing, I thought I had better chances of getting more playing time and excelling at that sport. Um, Northwestern's a great degree as well. They were you know, a top five team in the country. Um, full ride, you can't beat it at a, a top institution like Northwestern. And so I was just grateful I had options. And then when I came back to, um, uh, back home, I knew it was too cold in the Midwest, right? I wanted to come back and live on the, the West Coast. It was then that I opted to go back to get my teaching credential. I thought there was something I wanted to do as I started getting older um, at Northwestern. It was a, a friend of a friend who wanted me to coach softball at, uh, actually it was West Valley College. Um, for her husband, so I coached with him, and then uh, Josie Riguero, who was a longtime softball coach, who was my softball coach, asked if I wouldn't mind helping out at MIDI, and then my coach, Helen Gangris, at MIDI, asked if I wouldn't mind helping out and doing the JV program, and then it just kind of segued from there. Coach Phillips will frequently say she makes her living as a math teacher, right? And so, you know, if if basketball ended tomorrow, you know, she's her career is teaching math to high school students. Clearly, this is her passion. This is her vocation. 
it's interesting. I've, I've had other young coaches ask, you know, who aspired to do these things, but I never sought out to, to, to be the U-17 national team coach. I didn't try to be the McDonald's All-American coach. I mean, it's, it's not something that is um, on my bucket list. It wasn't. While she may never have planned on it, Coach Phillips had the reins at Archbishop Mitty and ended up creating something that has long defined the women's basketball program, a sisterhood. Sisterhood to me is an extended family. It's an extended family where these players feel safe, they can be vulnerable, they can be themselves, um, they can strive to be great without feeling that they need to dim their light. They can make mistakes knowing that they can be picked up. Well, on the team, we get to spend the entire year both as MIDI basketball players and also as a club team on Cagers. Um, and through that, you know, four years of spending almost every second together, you really become sisters and really, you know, lean on each other with uh, classes or basketball or anything in between. And you really have to grow that family aspect in order to trust each other and lean on each other and eventually win. Sisterhood is that extended family where uh, we are going to continue to tell each other the truth, we're going to support each other, we're going to push each other, we're going to celebrate each other. I mean, that's what families do, right? And they're also going to disagree and that's okay because we're going to, we're going to be better for it as we move forward. So um, I do love that we have a sisterhood and I do think that they love each other. Um, they love being around each other and they love to play this game. So it's, it's, it's been really special to be a part of this sisterhood. Coach Phillips is extremely inspiring and really wants to bring you up with her. She has a lot of influence, a lot of contacts, a lot of expertise, and she's really welcoming, welcoming and wants to bring you into that with her and wants to help you grow as a person. You know, every single year we have the postseason banquet and we go through the whole thing and she talks about everybody else. And then when she tries to end the banquet, I always go up and say, and no, we're going to talk about her. And I say the same thing every year. This program is as successful as it is, and we're all here because of her. It is not hyperbole um, to say that the women's basketball program at Archbishop Bay is Sue Phillips. I mean, she embodies this program. I feel like I'm the one who has benefited, right? Like all these wonderful people that have come through my life and have impacted me in such a positive way. And, and I'm most proud to say that we are developing future leaders. So when, when the ball stops bouncing, these young women are able to be successful um, in their future careers, whatever that may be.